Holy shit! Uh... Oh my god! Uh, okay. We should probably go and... Oh my goodness god, there is like a riot now. Let's go ahead and put those propaganda posters up, maybe. <laughs> what is going on? Everybody, welcome back to Beholder. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcone. So, uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize for the big delay between this episode and the last one. To give you guys a long story short scenario, I loaded up to actually record a couple more videos like two days ago, and my save file was just gone. It's weird because the save file was in the directory it should be, but whenever I would load the game up, it wouldn't give you an option to load the game again. So I went to the Steam forums, a lot of people were having the same issue as I was. There was a couple of fixes, unfortunately none of them would work for me, so I decided to just give up and I decided to do the progress I did off camera and then catch up again and then just record here from the point we left off last time. So everything's fine today. Luckily I loaded into the game and my save file was still here so I think the crisis is now averted. Um, and the second thing I want to talk about is I asked you guys if you wanted to see an evil route, the scumbag landlord, or a good landlord. The majority of people said scumbag, a couple of people said good, and then somewhere in between we had be a scumbag to everybody but your family. So I think that's a really good uh, compromise. I will be a scumbag to everybody else, but the family is going to be untouchable for us. So we cannot rat our family out because that would be a really scummy thing to do, but I will be a scumbag to everybody else. So without further ado, let's get into the game. And again, as you're enjoying it as well, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like, leave me some suggestions of things you want me to do, so on and so forth. Anyway, we do have a directive here today, which is going to be singing in front of the military, Ministry of Order is prohibited. Which is kind of interesting because I do believe, hold up a second, we we picked up Jones Propaneto. Oh, he's not a singer. He likes to smoke a pipe, though, but that's about it. Okay, so right now, let me put the volume down here a little teeny tiny bit. Okay, we're fine now. We have a current order, which is to find a way to evict Klaus Shimmer. Which a little bit, it bothers me a little bit because this guy was actually kind of nice to us. He hooked me up with a book, his wife hooked me up with a saucepan, and now I have to be a scumbag and get rid of him. But before Jones books it for the day, let me talk to this guy. He does have a mission for us, it does seem. What do you want? Special offer. I have a deal. Times are hard. Everyone is doing their best. I have canned fish. You know everyone around here. Find me a buyer and I'll pay you generously. Alright, let's ask about the quality of the food before I start offering to the people here. What kind of canned food is it? Good or the usual muck? It's the best quality. It's imported from abroad. It'll sell like hotcakes, but it's not safe for me to go to the market. I want to sell them quietly without drawing attention to myself. I found the canned food in the hold. Nobody used them. Rule one of the barge, if it's not nailed down, it doesn't belong to anyone. So I took as many as I could carry. So you basically stole them, essentially. Don't tell me that whole rule about the barge. Alrighty, well you know what, sounds like a pretty interesting deal. We could probably make some money off of it. Let's go ahead and agree. Deal, I'll try to sell your canned food. Wonderful! Here's a crate with 50 cans. The wholesale price is 50 per can. You can sell them for 100 apiece at the market, so the crate costs 3,000. You give me 3,000 and then sell it all. Whatever you make above 3 grand is yours to keep. Did you note my generosity? Alrighty, and there it is. We have the canned food. Excellent. Let's end the conversation. I I've been told by you guys this guy is actually very liable to kill me. Very much like this bus apparently would be as well by running me over. God damn it, bus. I told you before. Respect my authority. I'm the scumbag landlord. But yeah, I've been told by you guys this guy is liable to kill me, so I can't really fuck with this guy too much. I gotta keep him on the up and up, otherwise he will indeed kill me. Um, Alright, let's see here. We have a great offer as well. Popanetto offered to pay me for selling his canned goods. But right now we need to figure out a way to evict Klaus. So let's actually start off by talking to Rosa here. Let's see if she has any information for us. Good afternoon. Talk about the canned goods. Oh, well how about that? Do you need imported canned food? It's really tasty. 50 cans for 4,000. Of course! The ones you have are bad. Just bones and water. Yours will sell like hotcakes in our dining hall. It's enough for 30 bowls of soup. If you add herring, it will make 60 bowls. You're just in time, dear. We ran out of provisions. Give me the cans and I'll get the money from my boss and bring it to you. Why is she giving me this evil smile? Rosa, did you swindle me? You better not be hustling me, Rosa. I swear to God, I will evict your ass and I will evict your husband, too. I'll blackmail you guys. <laughs> That's a really interesting look she just gave me there, too. So, um, did we agree to that or what? Rosa? Do you have the cans now or what? Excuse me? I can't talk to you anymore. You're leaving. Okay. What's okay? Here is, um, Rosa's husband. Let's talk to this guy. 
ask about the wife. She loves baking buns and cakes so much, she does it for a living. I wish it didn't smell like cabbage. Ah, eh, it's a problem all the time, you know? Your significant other smelling like cabbage? Never really a good thing, you know? How do you tell that? How do you tell them to, like, you know, take a shower? It's kind of really weird. And over here we have our, our wife has a mission for us, too. What, Carl? Chocolate candy. I talk with our neighbors, Carl. They're really nice. I was told a man in the top had walks near the house occasionally. You can buy some things from him. What things? Antiques? Don't you have enough things? Listen to me first. You never listen to what I tell you. Don't get so steamed. I didn't want to offend you. You're the master of bringing people down. Sometimes I think I live with... What did you say about the trader? They say he's selling new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me the perfume soap she bought from him last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful items. Do you need the soap? Why is he wearing a top hat? Is he a magician? <laughs> I like that one. Let's go with that one. How on earth would I know why he's wearing a top hat? Stop bothering me with your silly questions. You're loafing around the house doing nothing, and I'm... And I've cleaned the floor. The least you could do is go buy sweets for our daughter. What do you mean I'm doing nothing? I'm 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 hustling people and I'm reporting them to the government. Believe me, I'm doing a lot. It's just very underground type stuff here. Talk about sweets for Martha. Are you once again not satisfied with anything? I just asked you to buy chocolate for a little one. I didn't even ask for a bar of strawberry perfume so for myself. Okay. Well, it seems like she might want that perfume soap. She mentioned the second floor, right? <laughs> Should I just go in there and fucking steal it? Hold on, let me take a peek in here. Anybody in here right now? No, everybody's out. Okay. That's true, I mean, Rosa did book it, and then I think we saw the the, the husband leaving afterwards. So, maybe I, I be... Oh, no, here comes Rosa! Oh, shit. She's got a bag of goods, too. Empty bottles, okay. Leave. Oh, she's... Where is she going? Oh, she's, she's not coming up right now. Where, where... Is she smuggling those, um... <laughs> Is she smuggling the canned goods for us? Oh my god, Rosa, you're an old baller. I like you a lot. Okay, well, back inside we go, I guess. I'm gonna try to steal this um, perfume soap. Jones Puppinetto's back as well. I should probably tell him that we might have a, a, a patsy in the scheme here. Rosa's our patsy. Nothing in the armchair? What about in here? Should I be stealing this? I don't know. I'm not even sure there's anything to steal here. I'm gonna give it a try, but... Old shoes, comb, a book, a passport? None of these have any information for us. Okay. Let's go onwards here. What do you have on this one? There's another chair back here, too. Really hard to see that one. Um, check out the old chair. And we'll also go to this bed here. Nothing in the chair. Go to the bed. I always find it weird that you can actually look for stuff in the bed. Like, who hides stuff in their bed? Razor, wallet, toothbrush. Okay. Well, it seems we're not finding anything over here, so I was probably... No, nothing here. Well, I think the chocolates we do buy from the guy who sells stuff over here, so I'll keep an eye out for next time he shows up. But that's about it. Alrighty. Let's go ahead over here and knock. And let's see if um, we can talk to Klaus about this possible eviction. Here comes Klaus. There's the wife, too. New government directive. What do we have here? It is legal to use foreign currency. Okay. There's Klaus. Hello! Ask what he needs. Tell me straight, Carl. Did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Oh, dude, how do you know about this? Tell about the ministry order, threaten with eviction, and the conversation. Well, they're kind of both the same thing. I'm going to be honest with this guy, but I still need to get rid of him. You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. I'll get right to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from my apartment? That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this pokey hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you gonna do? Well, I gotta get him rid. Of I gotta get rid of him. The only thing is to offer help. I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? Insist on talking. I'm not asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being hunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop to that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand? What's an absentee certificate? You should know such things, Carl. This is the document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, and roads with checkpoints are all closed to me. Alright, why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received a response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the data update. 
They said I could obtain them there. I went to the archives, they said there were no documents left. I spent a week in the line to see an inspector about submitting a detection application. Two months later, I was told I'd used the wrong form for my application, and they were out of the ones I needed. Damn it! You mean the documents are lost in the archives? Yes, the documents are in the archive. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the archives. Okay, well, we know that Homeboy over here works at the archives, this uh, Mark Rennick guy. Let's see what I can do about your absentee certificate. So, let's talk to Mark. He works there, right? He's the archives guy. He's always talking about that. See? What do you want from the archivist? Um, talk about help for Schwimmer. Schwimmer. David Schwimmer. Uh, do you work in the archives, old man? What's it to you? You know this even without me. I need your help. One good man can't obtain a document from the archives. Who are you talking about? The documents of good people aren't taken to the archives. Don't feed me a line. Tell the true story of Klaus Schimmer. Uh, or talk about a side issue. Now let's go with the Shimmer thing. I'm talking about Shimmer from Apartment 1. He fell from grace with the state, they took his absentee certificate, and now he's stuck here. I don't like him. He works in a tobacco shop and has never given me tobacco for free. He behaves like this and speaks rudely because he's afraid. Help me, bring me his absentee certificate. They can't live, leave without it. Well, that says live, but it should be leave, I imagine. Deal, but you owe me a bottle of whiskey. I won't be able to access the confiscated documents without it. Okay, so now we gotta get some whiskey from Mark over here. Okay. So, let's see. Let's come on downstairs here first and foremost. We have the great offer. Uh, Paponetto. Is Paponetto back? He came back, didn't he? Okay, here we go. Information. We know that Mark likes to smoke the old pipe as well. Alright. Uh, the guy that sells shit isn't, hasn't showed up here in a bit now as well, which bothers me. I'm trying to get that chocolate for Martha. Jones, are you in here? Popanetto is not in here at all. Thought he would be. Oh, he's downstairs. Alrighty. Popanetto! Hey, dog, I think I got a patsy for us. What do you want? Um, talk about the canned food. Bring me money and then we'll talk. Okay, so we gotta wait for Rosa to get back from her little, I guess, um, slanging deal out there. Alrighty, so I think we're good here. Martha's asleep. Uh, we're waiting for the guy with the, the top hat, the magician, had to show up. So let's go ahead and speed up time here a little bit. Here we go. There he is. Nathan, get your ass to selling, dude. There he is. Okay. My compliments. Trade. What are you selling today? Take a look. So we're looking for chocolate candy, correct? I'm gonna buy this. And the wife mentioned perfume. I don't think this guy has it. Oh, we need a bottle of whiskey, too, so we might as well buy this as well. Okay, that's good. Is this chocolate bar? Were we looking for chocolate candy, or was it chocolate bars? I don't even know which one. Well, we got some money right now, so I'll just buy both of them to be on the safe side. I know I could probably just open up the directive and check, but, you know, I'm lazy. I'm a very lazy man, okay? You know, the other way we could get rid of Klaus, too, is probably buying illegal food from this guy and planting it in his, um, house, huh? Huh. Because, check this out. Wait a second, let's, let's go back here. Uh, let's see. All apples must be destroyed. I'm curious about maybe framing Klaus instead. Green apple, red apple. Let me buy an apple here really quickly. I hope I don't get caught with the apple, because then I'll probably be um, evicted myself. <laughs> I'll be an enemy of the state. Alright, here's Klaus here really quickly. Um, I need to get into his house and plant this shit, probably. It's in my inventory? Yeah. Okay. Well, the wife is in there, so we gotta wait. Um, you're back there. I got the chocolate now. New message received. Let's go check this out here really quickly. Oh, Martha's up! But I think we gotta give it to the wife first, maybe? I don't know. Maybe he's giving it to Mark, but... Food poisoning! An unfortunate gastronomical incident took place yesterday in coal mine number 29. Following lunch at the local dining hall, an entire shift of workers came down with food poisoning. The exact reason is unknown, although all of them ate the fish soup. Oh no! Investigators have established that Rosa Rennick, the cook, was in charge of preparing and serving the soup! And they're, qu and they're questioning her! We should also note the iron will of the workers who, despite great pains and the terrible fever, returned to work. Realizing how much the state needs them in this time of war. Oh no! Rosa got caught! State officials are once again trying to turn someone onto a scapegoat for something that's their fault. The cook simply couldn't make soup that would poison people. It's more rational to suggest the products were rotten to begin with. And were probably brought that way because they were cheaper. Worst of all, the sick miners had to return to work not out of loyalty, but out of fear of being fired. Oh no! Uh oh. Uh oh. Mark has a question mark over, or uh, an exclamation mark, too. Uh-oh. Um. Yo, don't we owe money to Homeboy over there as well? 
Jones Puppet Nato. I don't think he's gonna be like, um, I don't think he's gonna give a shit if I told him that, um, Rosa got cod by the government. <laughs> okay, let's come in here really quickly and plant. Oh, there's Jones right there. Let's plant that. Okay. Ooh, ooh. There was Klaus. Where's the wife? I'm not sure where the wife is. But now let's go and, um, do I need to, like, now distribute it in or could I just, like, claim that they have apples to get rid of them? Let's see. Let's check this out here really quickly. Yep, illegal object found. We got it, guys. We so got it. Oh my god. We're gonna frame this man. Oh, I feel really terrible. I'm sorry, Klaus. Don't hate me. I'm just doing my job. Okay, let's go over here now and we, we make the report. Oh shit, dude. This is terrible. <laughs> I feel kind of bad, but hey, you guys wanted me to be a scumbag. Klaus Shimmer, apartment number one. Is that where you live? Hold up, hold up, hold up, leave workplace. It is apartment one, okay. Go back to write a report. So write a report, Klaus Shima, apartment number one, uh, violated directive, what's the directive for this one? 640. Um, from September one. And now we drag the collected item over, oh my god. Shit, son, send it over. Leave the workplace. Uh oh! <laughs> it's going down! It is going. But he's not here! Wait, are they gonna take the wife? Or Klaus? Hey, oh, they're waiting. I think they're waiting. No, no, this guy's waiting. Oh, he's coming for the wife. I, no, no, he's going for Klaus. He just brought that door down. Is Klaus there? Klaus isn't there, though. Should we have done it when Klaus was here or what? Oh, he's going through the stuff now! <gasps> That's awesome! Oh god, I feel like a scum. Oh, there's Klaus right now! I'm sorry, Klaus. I'm sorry, dude. It just... Yeah, unfortunately, it needed to happen. It's it's right here, officer. It's right there in the bookshelf. I, I'm just... have a hunch. It's Oh, he found it! Hey! Get him, he's right there. Get him, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my... I'm sorry, Klaus. The people wanted me to be a scumbag and evict people badly, and now you have been evicted. Oh god. Let's come over here to, um... <laughs> Mark. Your canned food was shit! Everyone in the dining hall where my wife works ended up with food poisoning. They're building a case. She could be sent to jail because of you. Flip them off? Accuse the buzzin'? Keep the matter quiet. 250 reputation points to keep the matter quiet or a thousand. Uh, I'm gonna use some reputation points to keep the matter quiet. Mark, let's stifle this. I'm sure everything will be fine. I'll help. I'll call a friend of mine. Oh, I don't like the story. Okay, you're my boss. Say one word about my wife. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I needed to do. I needed to calm him down because maybe he would kill me. I know Jones is capable of killing me, but there goes Klaus. Oh my God. Okay, I'm liking this game a lot more now. Being a scumbag makes it a lot more fun. Uh, completion report. Call the ministry. What does Maria think about this? Hello. She has nothing to say about the husband being uh, taken in. <laughs> Okay, well, let's call in the report now. Uh, reference, dial the number. Report a task. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your task was a success. For helping to catch a criminal, you are awarded 3,000. Good job, comrade. Your next task is to place propaganda banners in your building. We need to increase patriotism among your tenants. This is an unrest to the city. Stay alert, comrade Carl. Oh my god, well, we have enough money to pay off, um... Oh no! She's unhappy and she's got a question, uh, an exclamation mark. Oh shit, man. Things are happening. Hey. Uh, let me try to give the chocolate to Anna, maybe? Oh my god, everybody's just waiting for me there. What's happening now? What, Carl? Talk about the sweets from Martha. Are you once again not satisfied? No, I have them. I bought sweets, but they didn't have the soap you wanted. You bought sweets, Carl. Thank you. I'm full of worry these days. When I close my eyes, I can see those bulls leading the previous building manager out of the nose. It breaks my heart to think of you being in his place. Anna, purge those thoughts from your mind. I'll be fine. You're not being silly, right? I'll do a good job. What if a previous manager had thought like this, too? Well, it's time to get back to work. Okay, we got that done. Can I get my save? Oh, I didn't get a save for that. Oh, Rosa's back! What the hell? There's a lot of police cars here. Rosa? Rosa? What's happening? 
Holy shit! Uh... Oh my god! Uh, okay. We should probably go and... Oh my goodness god, there is like a riot now. Let's go ahead and put those propaganda posters up, maybe. <laughs> oh shit, man. I feel like a terrible person right now, but you guys wanted me to be a scumbag, so hey. The posters are now up. I got a thousand for that. Oh, Jesus Christ. These poor people. Buy Schwimmer's papers? Nope. Uh, I'm sorry to say that I'm not going to be doing that anymore because that is done. <laughs> He's gone now. <laughs> the great offer. Uh, Papanetto offered me a ride. Pick up the phone. Five hours to do so. Remember, we can't miss a call from them or otherwise we get screwed here. Oh, we have to fix stuff, don't we? Oh, they ruined all my stuff. From the, the riot, I guess. Pick up the phone? Yeah. Emergency call ministry. Ministry of order. There's unrest in the city. It's dangerous to go outside. Stay calm and report anything in the house or repair anything in the house that's broken. You have two days. And there's our safe. Okay, great. So now this should be safe for us. I think it's a perfect time for us to wrap it up here. Wow, we well quite an episode, huh? Oh, a lot of scumbaggery done. But you guys wanted to be a scumbag, so or wanted me to be a scumbag, and you know what? It makes it a lot more fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Stick around for next episode. I will catch you next time.